Hey, what's going on, guys? It's iTalkApple96, and today I'm going to be showing you how to reinstall Snow Leopard on your Mac. So we're basically going to be doing a reformat, as you would say, to your Mac. So this will be wiping all your data. We're doing a clean installation, and you um, will have nothing left in your computer. It'll just be like going to the Apple Store and buying your Mac. There'll be nothing left on it. So uh, there's a few things you've got to do before that. Um, number one, you've got to back up all of your data because every single thing is going to be gone off the computer. So when you scroll through the dock after, there's going to be nothing except for probably Finder and uh, Safari and System Preferences. So all your programs will be gone. And uh, if you have iLife installed on your Mac, like iPhoto, GarageBand, um, iMovie, iDVD, those programs, you will have to have the uh, disk for those. I still have the uh, disk, the applications disk for uh, my MacBook Pro, and uh, I also have my uh, MacBook Pro 13-inch install DVD. If you don't have one of these, you like if you still don't have this, these come with your computer. They should be in the box. If you don't, if you still don't have that. Um, you will have to go to a store like Future Shop, Best Buy, or the Apple Store and pick up a retail copy of Snow Leopard. So yes, so now back up all your information through all going through Finder, back up all your documents, everything you have on there. The second thing you want to do is we're gonna plug in our power adapter. So we're gonna take our power adapter and make sure it's plugged in. You really have to have that plugged in during the installation. And then uh, we'll begin the installation. So we'll start that by, we'll t I'll take my Mac OS install DVD and I'll insert that into the super drive. And if you have a Mac, newer MacBook Air, you can just insert your uh, USB stick. But most of these, Mac my MacBook Pro just has a super drive uh, for the reinstallation. So the uh, program is just booting up now. So you see the uh, OS 10 uh, installed DVD. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to go and uh, quit that. And now this is it, guys. This is the last chance to back anything up. After this, everything's going to be gone. Okay, so we're going to click the restart button. Click enter. Now, as soon as it starts restarting, hold down the option key. So right now, start holding down the option key on your keyboard. Hold that down right now. Keep holding the option key. So uh, you see I have a choice here of Macintosh HD. Use your arrow keys, Windows, or the Mac OS install DVD. I do have Boot Camp installed, but I'm going to go to my Mac OS install DVD, and I'm going to click Enter. And uh, wait a few minutes, and now it's booting up. So. It would look just like your normal Snow Leopard installation, but it's actually booting on off the CD into the installation. So this should take about, oh, around two minutes. So guys, uh, now the computer is rebooted onto the CD. So um, I'm going to go ahead, I speak English, <laughs> so I'm going to go use English for the main language and click the next button. Uh, it should say preparing installation now and now you're greeted with the setup of um, install OS X. So uh, basically now what you're going to want to do is we're going to go up to the corner and we're going to click utilities right here. Utilities and then we're going to scroll down through this list until you see one called Disk Utility. So click on Disk Utility and uh, just wait. Is this loading? So uh, now you'll see over on the side. 
um, a list right here that says like the main core base of the hard drive, then Macintosh HD, and then my disk. So I have Boot Camp on stall here, so this is listed. But what I'm going to do is we're going to just click on the first one that says 160 GB Hitachi. So that's the size hard drive. It could be different in years. Just click on the, for on the first thing. It's the core base of your hard drive. And I'm going to go to this list and we're going to click Erase right here. We're going to go down to this drop down menu and make sure Mac OS Extended Journal is, is uh, selected. So the first one, Mac OS Extended Journal. Click on that one. Now we're going to name the hard drive. So I'm just going to name it the um, same as before, Mac in Tosh HD. So after naming it Macintosh HD, we're going to click Security Options. So you can do uh, different security options. Uh, the first one, uh, don't erase data, just wipes out your data and um, uh, deletes everything. It goes over your uh, hard drive twice to make sure everything's gone. Uh, seven pass erase is most, and 30, 35 pass erase is mostly for military purposes. You don't really need to use those. I do recommend if this is your first uh, time in the doing a re installation, do the zero out data uh, erase. I'm not going to bother with the zero out data erase because on this video, the zero out, zero out data erase takes about an hour. But uh, if you don't, if you do don't erase data, it still deletes everything. It just deletes it once. So I'm just going to select don't erase data. Okay, and then we're going to click Erase. So uh, it should be erasing now. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. I'm going to click Erase. Just, it's asking me if I'm sure. So click Erase. And now down here in the uh, corner, you'll see that it's unmounting the disk. shouldn't take too long for this so it's uh, creating the partition map uh, formatting disk OS2 and uh, now that's it, it's uh, finished erasing and uh, you should see here that everything's back looks just like it did before and uh, everything's gone so what we're going to do is we're just going to go up here um, into the corner, click the little red X, and now you're back at the install screen. So we're just going to click here, continue. Agree. Uh, it's asking me where I want to install it, so after. It should say here, um, 159 gigabyte free. It should say the amount of gigabyte free should be the same as the total. So that's the way you know if your hard drive is erased completely. So on um, mine is it says 159.4 gigs free, and it says 159.7 gigs total. So it should be really close to the total size erased. So let's double click on that. Um, it's going to ask me if I want to install any additional software. Um, I wouldn't, you don't really need to install any other software. I'm going to just click Rosetta. I'm going to install that. But, uh, that's pretty much nothing else you need to install. It's up to you. I, you don't really need to install Rosetta. And, uh, then I'm just going to click install. So now it's started the installation. Uh, this installation usually takes about 30 minutes um, to go. So I'll be back in about half an hour when uh, this installation is completely done and I'll show you the end, okay? So now you've uh, successfully installed Mac OS X on your computer. We're going to click continue. So the fresh installation is all done. Uh, we're just going to restart the computer.
Oh, it's just booting up now. Okay. It is a little slower in the first boot. Uh, just because things are getting set up in that, but the second boot would be a lot faster for you. There we go, so uh, here's the, should be the intro video. Okay, so thanks for watching guys, uh, you've successfully installed um, Mac OS X on your computer, reinstalled it, so now you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to install the, put your application CD in, and install, um, run through the setup, install your applications, install all your programs, uh, re back up your files, so um, that's pretty much it, and you won't have to do that much else. It's a Mac. It doesn't take that much. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.